Welcome to episode one of Deep Fake TV. My name is Jason. I'll be your host, writer, and producer. I grew up in Michigan, but currently live in Colorado. This particular skit was written last summer while I was recovering from adrenal fatigue in South Haven, Michigan. I'm a huge advocate of suicide awareness and truly believe a healthy lifestyle requires a creative outlet. Much of my creativity has been inspired by Saturday Night Live, Chris Farley, Conan O'Brien, Robin Williams, Johnny Carson, David Letterman, Vincent Van Gogh, and many others. Now, let's get this party started. Tonight, via satellite, I'm interviewing Papa Smurf, and it's going to be a great time. So without further ado, please welcome to my show, Papa Smurf. So what's good, my little blue brother? I'm Papa Smurf, baby. Woohoo! Ha! <laughs> well, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me, and now you have a ton of fans that are dying to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. So, who the hell are you anyway? Why am I, Papa Smurf, being interviewed by some talk show host wannabe? Great question, <coughs> ass. I'm just a normal dude. I've been a huge fan of the Smurfs for as long as I remember. You'll be appearing on my YouTube channel. Yep, so I'm staying in South Haven for the summer. Have you ever been to the beach out here? Well, that's a dumbass question. I'm 590 years old, and I'm freaking blue. Why the hell would I want to lay at the beach? Next question. Yeah, I was told you might be a bit irritable. Maybe we can talk about some of your magic. Have you created any cool potions lately? Well, about 20 years ago, I developed a little blue pill called Viagra. Ever heard of it? I had no use for it, so I sold it to a pharmaceutical company. But you're almost 600 years old. It seems like a little blue pill would be fairly useful to a guy of that age. Is that why you're so irritable? Maybe you just need to get laid, Big Papa. First of all, don't call me Big Papa. Second of all, hell yeah, I need to get laid. I live in a village of 98 dudes and one chick. It's a freaking sausage fest. I mean, Smurfette is hot, and as much as I'd like to cast a spell on that tiny blue hiney, she's just a little too young for me. It's getting pretty bad, though. I haven't had sex in so long that my balls have turned blue. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Maybe we need a new subject. Let's talk about our new president. What do you think of President Trump? Well, I don't mind the guy, but we don't really have much in common. I mean, I'm blue and he's orange. I'm only three apples tall, and he's huge. But we do have similar sounded voices. You know what, Jason? You're fired. But I am a big fan of Melania and Ivanka, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I hear you. I wouldn't want that job. It would be much too hard for me. That's what she said, right? Thanks to the blue pills, huh? <laughs> That's hilarious. What else would you like to talk about? Oh, I know. I found this photo of you online. When was this taken? Wow, I almost forgot about that. I was training for spring break in Cancun. What do you think? Pretty ripped for an old guy, right? When I first saw it, I was actually thinking Napoleon Complex. But yeah, how was Cancun? What do you mean by Napoleon Complex? You know, short man syndrome. Walking around like Billy Badass trying to fight everybody. Pfft. I might be short, but I've got a dinosaur in my pants, broheim. Oh yeah? Well that's not what Smurfette said. Wait, what did Smurfette say? She said, a small blue man claims to invent a small blue pill by accident. She just sounded a bit skeptical. Her words, not mine. 
Anyway, so I love your most recent movie. Smurfs, The Lost Village. I understand that Dwight from The Office was the voice of Gargamel. What are your thoughts on that? In my opinion, Rain Wilson's voice didn't make for a very convincing evil wizard. Actually, I think he sounded like a raging weenus. I definitely prefer Hank Azaria's voice for Gargamel. Yeah, I totally agree. So I've got to ask, what's up with the red tights? I mean, I'm a huge fan of black yoga pants on the female body, but red tights on a dude? What happens when the dinosaur in your pants is like, showing? So, I may have lied about having a dinosaur in my pants. Yeah, <laughs> shocking. So if it's alright with you, I'd like to end the show with some rapid fire questions, is that cool? Bippity boppity, my brother. So, did Handy Smurf get his name because he got caught masturbating? Uh, that would be a yes. What about Smurfette? Does she wear panties? Nope, never. Mm -mm. How about your red tights? Do they make your blue balls worse? Hell yeah they do! It's torture! Most importantly, if I was a Smurf, do you think Smurfette would date me? Pfft. Probably not. But you're not missing much. She's just a giant tease anyway. <laughs> All right, now you ask me some questions. All right, this sounds like fun. So, have you ever Googled Naked Smurfette? Uh, what? How'd you get access to my internet search history? What would your name be if you were a Smurf? Ooh, that's a great question. I'm thinking Bachelor Smurf. If you were a Smurf for one day, what would you do? I'm thinking I'd come to your place. We'd have some drinks, hang out, catch up, and then, of course, spend the rest of the day chasing Smurfette. What's your favorite cocktail? <laughs> you said cocktail. <laughs> I'm actually a whiskey on the rocks kind of guy. Well, looks like we're out of time. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm really looking forward to your next movie. For the most part, it was a pleasure having you. Thanks for having me. I'll tell Smurfette you said hi. <laughs>